Hey, welcome to another game development tutorial. Today we're going to be using the Godot engine to create a top-down game template. So, here we go. This is part two. Today we're going to work on the tile map and tile sets and stuff. So, as you can see, I've imported uh, four different textures into my project, and that's three walls for the uh, tile sets that we'll get get to later, and a floor tile or a grass tile. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take one of these textures and we're going to put it on top of our player so that it will represent a uh, orthographic image of it. For now, that's not it's not going to be our actual character. It's just going to uh, represent our player for now instead of this flat 2D uh, shadow, uh, shadow kind of. So we're going to add a sprite node and let's rename this to visible now under texture load uh, sprites and then let's use the uh, third wall there with vines and let's place place it so that the bottom half aligns up with the shadow that we've made and now we're going to place uh, click this arrow right here next to the texture and Go under flags, turn off mip maps, and turn off filter. So now it's clear and all pixely. So that's that's all we're going to do to the player. Now we're going to create a new scene. This scene is going to represent our tile map. Now, if you don't know exactly how tile maps work, I have a separate video that you can check out uh, where I explain how tile maps work and also how to create them. So we're going to add our base node here, a node2d, and then I'm going to add a sprite under our node2d, and let's rename this to wall1. Now we're going to add a static body2d to it so we can have a collision underneath it. So let's add a collision now. Alright, let's also lock this static body 2D node. And let's go into collision shape. Sh under shape, click new rectangle shape 2D. And set the extends to 16 by 16. Alright, so now under the sprite node here, uh, we're going to add our wall, our first wall texture. So wall1.png. And you can set these to whatever you want. And then under here, we're going to turn off mip maps, and we're also going to turn off the filter. Now that's also clear, and let's move the sprite up so that it aligns, or let's move the collision down so that it aligns with the sprite. And now let's lock the collision and grab the sprite and move it 32 pixels to the right so that it'll keep organized. And now let's duplicate that to wall 2. Now under wall 2, grab your grab everything and move it over 32 pixels to the right and then go under your sprite node and then change the texture to wall underscore 2.png or whatever other sprite you have. And then turn off the map maps and the filter. And now duplicate your second wall to wall 3 and change the texture to your third type of wall whatever it is and just move that over 32 pixels to the right and now I'm going to save the scene as tile set scene dot xml And now we have the three blocks that will go inside our tile map. Now we're going to go into this menu up here, scene, convert to tile set. And then go to your scenes and then type in I'm just going to name my tile set tile set dot XML. And now we have our tile set scene convert to a tile set so we can go into the world and then 
under in the world node uh, click the add button and add a tile map node so now we have a tile map and let's just move this up and now let's also turn this uh, go into the inspector of the tile map node and cell size 32 by 32 and now under cell turn Y sort on and now under tile map uh, click tile set and load now under scenes get your tile set that you made and now you can place all your blocks but it does have an offset so to fix that offset go click this arrow right over here next to the tile set.xml loader and go into your texture and now go under your first uh, t uh, tile and under text texture offset uh, set it to 0 negative 32 and now under your shape offset set it to 16 16 and do that with every single one of your tiles here and now go back into your uh, tile tile map editor and now place all the tile all the tiles you want because now you have completed your tile set making now you can create whatever levels you want you can even insert buildings into this if you want uh, I'm just gonna make some r a random scene here alright so that now that we have our uh, our little level here let's drag our player it, let's inherit our player underneath the tile map so that it will actually sort the player with the environment so let's test this out so as you can see our player seems to be reacting with the environment correctly that is when it's going behind an object it's actually uh, going behind the overlap and when it's in front of an object it's actually going over the overlap so that's good now let's add a floor so we're going to create a new scene and this is going to be our uh, another tile map but this is going to be our floor so let's add another uh, node and then add sprites attached to it this is only going to be one sprite so let's rename this to grass and now under texture load and then whatever floor floor texture you have I just have this one and also turn off all the flags and then drag it 32 pixels to the right and you're done you don't need to add anything else since it's won't have any collisions attached to it so let's see if this scene as uh, floor scene dot XML and now let's convert this to a tile set so I'm just gonna save it as that and so now go under your world create another tile map now I'm gonna rename this tile map to floor and then just say uh, change the size to 32 by 32 and now under tile set load and then pick out your tile set so now you can paint the floor so now that we're done with that uh, we can lock our tile maps so that only when we select them that we can edit them and now we can move around move our player around so let's give this a try great one more thing we're going to go into our floor tile map and set its Z its Z position to negative two that way anything with the z position of negative one will be on top like shadows 
Anything with the Z position of zero will be guaranteed on top. So let's let's play this. All right, our game seems to be working fine with this smooth scrolling. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.